people! In and out is all fresh ingredients. That's the main reason why. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Let me talk! Let me talk! Let me talk! Let me yell and for how for telling. Let me yell and for how for telling. Last night around 3 a.m., I had opened a lot of packs, and I'd almost given up. And then I remembered that I had the octopus arms. What's up, boys, and welcome to, and I can't believe I'm saying this right now, welcome talk. to the first owner 98 team of the year, Kevin De Bruyne, a.k.a. Kevin De Bruyne, a.k.a. Let Me Talk, a.k.a. Kevin McAllister, a.k.a. KDB. One of, if not the most desirable Team of the Year cards that we had in the full release. We've got 24 hours till Team of the Year ends. It's currently Monday right now, and for whatever reason, we don't have a new player objective. Yesterday, we basically got no uh, no new content. I think there was like a Team of the Year Challenge SBC release today, but back-to-back uh, -back days with nothing released is a little bit disappointing. The day before that, we had that Eden Hazard Storyline Moments card, 95, uh, which we're going to be taking a look at in today's epi as well. Obviously, it worked out perfectly, uh, but today, it is all about Kevin De Bruyne who's got himself, like I said, a 98 rated team of the year card. We packed him in a tradable 45k pack last night on stream uh, and it was absolutely epic. I almost gave up. Uh, the, the RTG account, basically, I'm down to 40 players. They're all in tradable. 11 of them are, 11 of them are obviously in my starting 11. Um, and then we went over to the main and we've rinsed. Literally, we have done hundreds of the Premier League upgrade pack and then the three player pack and uh, had some good packs to show for it. We got 90, we got Salah uh, on the RTG, we got Pepe, we got uh, Gabriel Jesus, both the informed versions. So we got some really good uh, players. Uh, Sun, we packed every Manchester City player not named uh, KDB. And um, yeah, the, the, the pack luck was in in some respects, but we just not were able, we just were not able to hit on that blue. But that all changed last night around 2.33 a.m. It was a 45k pack. It was the last 45k pack before I had to restock on uh, on FIFA points. Um, and we managed to hit on this blue. And the reaction was nothing short of legendary. And uh, just happy that we actually packed one. I would have been happy if we didn't pack one. Um, I tallied it up and I think I spent... And, and this isn't... I mean, it's like a lot to spend, and obviously it's it's like a business expense for me, but uh, $1,500. I, I tallied it up. I usually don't like to talk about that sort of stuff, but... Um a lot of you guys have been asking Zway how much have you how much have you put into the uh, how much have you put into the team of the year promotion and uh, one thousand five hundred and change or something like that uh, is how much I put in fifteen hundred dollars to get some really really good players into restock and then ninety eight Dublin still I don't think it is anywhere near close enough in terms of return on and uh, return on value but uh, just happy I was able to show you guys what it looks like to uh, pack a blue and I would never recommend uh, spending FIFA points we are here to find out if ninety eight KDB is uh, good if he can play as a cam if he can play as a strike. The stats that we're looking at right now are just absolutely outrageous. If you guys are looking forward to this episode, yeah, if you guys are proud of your boy for packing a team of the year, drop a mad lad like on the video. You think I got the octopus arms? If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So uh, we're going to dive right into it. There are obviously a few iterations of Kevin De Bruyne this year. And then this card, which goes for 2.7. By the When I packed him last night, I think he was going for about 3. But uh, just over 2.5, as a matter of fact, exactly 2.7 million coins for a 98 rated KDB. Five star skill, uh, five star weak foot, four star skill moves. And then the stats are just nuts. I asked on Twitter, you guys said engine, that makes sense because that gets his acceleration and sprint speed jacked off over 90. The shooting stats are the best I've used on any card this year. The passing stats are the best I've used on any card this year. The dribbling stats are near the best stats I've used on any card this year. And then the physical stats themselves, 99 stamina, 88 strength, and 90 aggression. So for all intents and purposes, I'm expecting to do absolute bits. I better not lose a game sp specifically uh, because of the squad we're using him in as well. We've got ourselves that Eden Hazard storyline moments card. We're going to see if he's good. I would have gone with Bernardo Silva's card, but I packed this Pepe on the RTG and I used his card. And I'm not kidding you. There's something about this card. I put a sniper, uh, put a sniper chem style on him. There's something about this card that feels absolutely crazy. I'm sure 91 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, 94 agility. Dribbling stats are really, really good. But the finishing and then the composure this guy's ability inside the box to put him through is uh, is actually insane. And he's obviously got the crazy, crazy pace as well. And uh, uh, below average passing stats, which makes me feel like this guy's uh, he's more of a striker with the 86 um, 
stamina as well. We've got ourselves this Dries Mertens. Obviously, it's always going to be a Belgian. And we're going to switch to the 4-3-3-4 in game. That's going to put Mertens up top at striker. Um, KDB just behind him. And then uh, Hazard and then Pepe as the Lamb and Ram. All right, boys. Match number one with KDB. He's going to be playing his Cayman match number one. Los kids. Last night around 3 a.m., I had opened a lot of packs. And I'd almost given up. Let me talk! Let me talk! Let me talk! KDB! Let me talk! Let me talk! Let me talk! That's not the sort of goal that you want to start things off with with a KDB epi. You're looking for beautiful, beautiful build-up play. You're looking for pinpoint pack your uh, pinpoint accurate passes. He's the best. That was one of the that effort that team of the year allison showed that's dude that's what i want from a team of the year allison that's the sort of effort that i need my keeper to show <laughs> sem dúvida alison becker So this match we're gonna try Hazard. Uh, this this match we're gonna try uh, Eden Hazard up top at striker, and we're gonna bust out uh, Dries Mertens to the left uh, to the left wing. And then I remembered. That I had the octopus arms. Oh my god! He's the best! Oh, he's walking past people! Oh my god! Come on! That is the sort of build the player looking for between a couple Belgians. Eden Hazard and KDB. Bro. <laughs> If you're talking about players that are 95 plus rated, you want beautiful build-up play like that. His dude, his defenders didn't even know how to handle it. Allison making another. Hey, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe this 97 is capable of winning this side, this game at the moment. The other side is hanging on for a draw. De Bruyne up, powering through, left foot in. KD! That's gotta be in, son! Surprise, surprise, puppy surprise! Will there be three or four or five? Meet the new puppy surprise mommies! Roxy, Coco, Crystal, and Caramel! Jesus! Come on! I think we need to go into 4-4-2, and I need KDB up top at striker. He's capable of winning this side, uh, this game at the moment. The other side is hanging on for a draw. De Bruyne up, powering through. Left foot in! What a strike! Kevin De Bruyne! I had enough BS go against me today that I feel like I deserved that. I had enough absolute BS go against me that I 100% feel like I deserve that voice. He's capable. 
capable of winning this side, this game at the moment. The other side is hanging on for a draw. Oh, he's walking past people. Go on, finish him, finish him. Ah! Yeah, that's the KDB that we know and love. That is the KDB that we know and love. That's what you expect from a 98 rated KDB, boys. Why doesn't it go from my Pepe directly to my defender? There we go. KDB. Whew. I think that is that a Hattie? Is that a Hattie or is he getting out of here? Rule oil leader? That might be it. Respect, man. No, nope, he's out. We're gonna try the 4-3-3 one more time. Blanc is gonna stay there. Sudorf's actually gonna stay on as well. Come on, Hazard! All right, so that's cut. That maybe, maybe we're sort, of, maybe we're slowly turning a corner with the Belgian boys. Pretty much any shot that you take on target, not to go in. The sky is so far away tonight, but I can't lose this there we go, boys! Do you know? It's always a Belgian. It is always a freaking Belgian, boys. KDB gets on the board in the 22nd minute. That's it. What a shot! Kevin De Bruyne once again! What a penalty! This is this never happened. And you want to know what? That's That goal right there sort of sums up KDB. I mean, obviously Hazard probably should have... Hazard should have buried that in the back of the net. I think he moved his keeper. But that goal right there sort of sums up KDB. Like, you know when you use a card and, like, you really, really want him to be, like, next level? And he was, right? Like, he, he was he was good. He scored goals. He provided assists. He, his dribbling stats are, are off the chart. He's, for all intents and purposes, he's a really, 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 really good card. But... You, you ever use a card and you expect, I think, maybe a little bit too much out of him? Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give him a three and a half out of five in terms of value. Um, a very, very expensive card. But if you start considering that these icons are going upwards of five, six million coins, uh, I think you could definitely make a case for KDB. Um, a KDB for being worth under uh, just under three mil, just over 2.5 million coins. In terms of on the pitch performance, I am going to give him a four out of five. The only thing that the only reason I'm not going to give it a perfect rating is for the fact that he missed some sitters. He missed some uh, finishing opportunities that really just left me flummoxed. I was like kdb you've just got one of the craziest cards in the game how are you missing these opportunities you guys let me know if you found the same is that uh it just didn't feel like he was able to finish inside the box even though his shooting stats say that he should be able to literally finish any chance but that is gonna do it for the episode yeah boys we pack ourselves kevin de Bruyne, uh and then team of the year ends on a little bit of a bittersweet note no content yesterday and then no content today so um i don't know i, I think team of the year ends tomorrow so we legitimately don't have anything um until i don't know maybe future stars this this friday or maybe next friday very very excited to see what the future brings but hopefully you guys have enjoyed if it has helped you in some way shape or form or was entertaining drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow until next time my bros choose later a day